Dorothea Dix Psychiatric Center is excited to be opening a geropsychiatric hospital unit to serve older adults living with severe and persistent mental illness in the state of Maine. This unit is designed to create an environment that promotes positive emotional experiences through evidence-based practices where patients feel respected, safe, purposeful, and valued in order to best support them to decrease or eliminate difficult symptoms. Treatment planning is going to be patient-centered. It is not going to be a cookie-cutter treatment plan. We're going to think carefully about the unique needs of each one of our patients and we are going to address our intervention specifically for the patients and their unique needs. Occupational therapy and therapeutic recreation provide active treatment for our patients seven days a week throughout the day. Treatment is provided in group and individual settings. Active treatment is focused on physical well-being, emotional well-being, independence with activities of daily living, community reintegration, positive relationships with others, and sensory regulation strategies. The team is going to consist of experts from multiple disciplines. So we are going to have a talented medical staff that includes physicians. So we have both a family practice physician as well as a psychiatrist. We have nurse practitioners and physician's assistants. But we also have an interdisciplinary team to provide additional services. And that includes occupational therapists, recreational therapists, social workers, peer support specialists, and psychologists. And they're gonna be working with the patients on a daily basis, trying to help them meet the goals on their treatment plan. I think when we discharge plan, it's very important that people continue to be connected with their families. Um, we also think it's very important for when we do refer people to placements or agencies that you know that we will be transparent. Um, we will collaborate with you, uh, we will support you, um, and we will always communicate all needs so that we can work as a team to get our folks the services and support that they need. Patient-centered care is just that. It's putting the patient first and really thinking about what matters most to them. It's not a physician or another provider dictating treatment to that patient. It's more about sitting down as an interprofessional team with the patient and us all working together to do what's in that patient's best interest. The physical environment and staff approach has been specifically planned to support older adults who are living with severe and persistent mental illness and the comorbidities that they may have. For fall prevention, the flooring has no thresholds and is a low gloss, non-slip floor with a darker color to improve contrast with seating and tables. There are handrails throughout the hallways and built-in nightlights in each bedroom. In order to promote independence, colors are used throughout the unit to improve wayfinding. Each area on the unit has a specific chair color to improve orientation to that space. Each patient room number has a different color framing it to support patients with independently finding their space. For dining, colored plates will be used for contrast to improve independence with self-feeding. To promote a sense of safety and comfort, there are large murals with beautiful scenery, a relaxation room for a peaceful area to relax, all private bedrooms, a large outdoor space with a pavilion that patients can use frequently throughout the day, and heat lamps by the showers. All staff at this unit have completed TIPA Snow's positive approach to care. This approach provides staff with tools to focus on the abilities that patients still have in order to promote independence and well-being in their daily lives. So we think a lot about discharge planning and we really are going to start thinking about discharge planning from the moment the patient walks through the door. And our treatment plan is going to be targeted with interventions to treat the patient's symptoms, but to also make sure that when they transfer back into the community, that that transition is successful. A success story on somebody discharging from Dorothea Dick Psychiatric Center is somebody living with the support they need in the setting that they need, which very well could be an apartment, a group home, again, assisted living, any type of placement that provides them the support that they need to live a happy, meaningful life in the community. 
Dorothea Dix Psychiatric Center looks forward to collaborating with community partners for the success of individuals served.